So he says, Machaber says in the second line, Initially they were made square, then afterwards they became off. Off center. He's only said, There's those who say, again, he has to reset it, he has to maintain that squareness. Remember, what's his name? Albert Waitman was told me he was doing the, uh, he was in the service, he was in Tokyo. In Tokyo, the moisture is to, to such a degree that, and I also, an uncle mine said he was in the Korean War. He was in Seoul during the Korean War in that area. You had to keep your tefillin actually in an airtight sealed uh, something bag, otherwise within a few weeks they become possible. The moisture and also even the salt somehow filtered into the air, everything became c- corroded from it. And that's what it was. The tefillin was the first thing to go. Even the leather, the leather, you know. So I'm saying to maintain it, it has to remain hard. I mean, it's, it's all, it's pressed, it's dried, you know. But uh, ultimately, they become wet. They become warped. They become warped. They become distorted. Chassidim who go to the mikveh every morning. Usually, the first thing that goes in the show rosh because when they put the tool on the head, mm-hmm. there's still moisture. It goes through the bottom of the bias. Mm-hmm. So the leather ultimately, after a short period of time, starts getting it absorbs the water. See, chassidim they have left a problem because their heads are shaved, so there's no hair there. So I mean, so they could dry the head, but still there's, there's still moisture on there on the scalp. And um, they become, they become, the, it seeps through, and eventually mm-hmm. it actually puzzles the even the uh, the parshias become possible. But the person, let's say, goes to the mikvah and he has hair. So every how how well could you dry your hair? Unless he, you use a hair blower, right? And it doesn't. So you put your tefillin on. Eventually, after six months, the tefillin really have to be checked to make sure. Because ultimately, even when you take them off, you can see the you can see the moisture on the bottom of the tefillin. Okay. The Yasa called Arba Batim Bishove. Right? Ramos says that all the four compartments have to be made of the same size. It's not up that t- totality is square. Each one has to be made the same size. Shall Echot Godl Michavero. Okay, let's see the mission more on this. The Skalka Ribu and Kufayantes, if the square the squareness became off. They became crooked. This happens with us, you know, if you, you hit your head, you bang the tefillin shorosh, you can get a t- the corner chipped off the, the tefillin. You have to be careful. Or a person drops the tefillin accidentally, and as, as much as you think, I mean, it gets chipped, the corner can be chipped off. It makes a puzzle. It makes a puzzle. It has to ret- retain that square in the point, the point at the edges. And all the time, eventually, they, that's the reason why, let's say, the shell yard, we have that, that cardboard cover on that, or plastic. Because every time you put your shirt over it, you put, you put your hand in your jacket, mm-hmm. over, over time it rubs, and eventually that sharpness is actually dulled. And the corners start, they, that's called rounding off. They have to come to a, literally a point. So if you were down with that kind of feeling, with it, with it, what is that? It's um, not, the puzzle. The puzzle. The puzzle. The puzzle. The letters on the parshish. Right, the same thing. You have to meet all these criteria. They all have to be met these criteria. Let's see, till when they start, the black on the strap start, starts fading. Yeah. They have to be blackened. They have to be blackened. They're not re-blackened. It's Allah Mishim Sinai that the straps have to be black. So it's like... Possible. I mean, it's filling on a puzzle, but you're not wearing kosher filling. What happens if you put on filling? You, you attach the bottom with, with, with string rather than use leather straps. Is it valid? The bias could be the best quality bias, and the parshias could be the best. But if it's not attached with straps, leather straps, mm-hmm. it's not valid. Not leather, but it's leather. No, but I'm yeah. explaining you something. But what happened? So I'm saying the blacking of the straps yeah. are the same thing. They're not blackened. That means you haven't met all the criteria of, of kosher filling. It's until they're blackened, they're, they're <coughs> possible. Do, do you get a commission on this one? You get a commission? <laughs> okay, just wanted to know. You go to a bookstore, they have like, it's like a, a pen. Yeah. You don't have to go to a sofa. It looks like a, you know, a regular oh. a marker, like a marker. Yeah, a permanent marker. Type permanent marker. Yeah. And yeah. The people used to have it in the tomb, in the tatalis yeah. bags. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, you can't use a regular permanent marker. They're made specifically because the ingredients have to be made of kosher ingredients. Have to, so it has to be blackened with a certain... Years ago, they used to say it used to be uh, Esquire shoe polish. Esquire. 
doesn't exist anymore. So then they said Esquire, <coughs> ingredients Esquire, and it was the, the liquid, not the, the paste. That people used to fix, like, blacken the till with that. They used to swab and just give it a, give it a, a swish over there, and that's how you blackened it. Okay? Ocean Skakal at Tituro at Tfiro at Shidu Ribuan. Yesh Misha Omer. It's a some say, Echodik was it. He says, although it seems to be, it's not a unanimous opinion. He says, no, nobody argues this. Factually, everybody agrees it has to be maintained. The Derchem Chaba came from Kobus, Koshim Sava, Leob, Sipkot, and Kufchogim. It's a little bit of a dochik. Kufi Zion, he's citing the Chai, who is this? Not a Buddha. No Buddha says this. It's Lav Navko. Even though the Mechaber says, Yesh Mishomer, Shetoch Le Ravan, the Kemen, the Ribuan, who Halochel Mosh Misinai, hear this, Bechol Shata Bina Shimirvoin. Since the Loch Misinai has to be maintained continuously, the squareness, Kol Mokom, you know, years ago, when they had Shtibul, Shtibul, they still have Shtibul, but it was a different type. You know, people died, what did they do with their glasses? They had a cigar box filled with glasses. You know, reading glasses. They're going to, we, the person would come to shul, he he start picking glasses <laughs> to find out which gla- which prescription fit him, and they used to have a box with filling, not in, wrapped in a bag. Shel yad, shel rosh, and you'd pull out a pair. Of pe- people would come. They'd take out. They'd, they'd search for a pair of shel yad, put it on, fill it, see if fit. You should see the shape of these filling. They were banged up. They were they were faded. They weren't black. They were brown. The, the straps were torn. It was you know it was like. And the, and the bottom, for sure, square, they lost this. They were first, they were made of thin, very thin leather. So they were all out of shape. And some of them, even they were, they were perforated. The bias, the shell roche, they were per- perforated. And stand, people used to put that on. But they, you know, they put on the filling. It's like years ago, when you bought an estrog on the Lower East Side, you used to pay between 3 and $5 an estrog. Right? So um, they w- people would have stands. And... If the Esser was a kosher or not, you see what the Lulav looked like. What do people know? This is in the 50s. And he would have merchandise hidden under the thing. It was the exact same merchandise. So the seller would say, I have something special for you. Take out the same quality from what you need. An extra 50 cents. This is yours. And I w- I've been waiting for you. You know, he's been waiting for this sucker whole day to, <laughs> to buy this. <laughs> and he'd give it to him. And he'd wrap it in the newspaper. It was the Daily Mirror. You know, that's the newspaper. He'd wrap it and send it home with it. <laughs> okay. Um, Every day you don't have to become paranoid that maybe, you know, maybe it's lost in squareness. The presumption is you don't have to keep measuring it. Visually you see that it's lost in squareness. Have you ever seen the bottom it becomes warped a little bit it becomes like it's it's not straight, it's like it's like wavy. The bottom gets wavy. So if that happens, the the tituro, I mean, it's, it's not square anymore. The bottom, it's not. Now, I'm not talking about the lip that comes out where you put the strap through. The whole bottom becomes, and you know, and you can see that has to be put in, reset in the vise and it has to be pressed. It, it's warped. Yaseh b'diyevet afilu echod rochod michaver koshi. Hear this. You have the four compartments in the Shal Rosh. It says they all should be made of the same size. Is it the Ever, if, not, if one's larger than the other, it's kosher. As long as in, in totality you have a square, it's valid. You have a square on the outside. On the outside. Yeah, but let's see, you look at the inside. bottom. One is uh, a millimeter larger than the other. It, it, it's, it's not hitter. Hitter it's not. Because they all should be uniformly the same size. Okay, to be continued. Salesman. So there's a lot of competition. So one day they come to sell to open up their store. Somebody went and took toothpicks and stuffed the lock of his competitor. <laughs> he couldn't get into it to, to get his merchandise. That's what used to go on there. Until the locksmith came, said the lo- person lost two hours worth of business. Okay? What? But that, that's 